Hello, welcome to Adopt Endless, and thank you for joining the channel. Um, I'm going to talk about a topic that most people don't like talking about it because it's very difficult to teach. Um, but I will try my best to give you the facts. I think there's principles of being therapeutic in your response. Um, and I have just two words for you. And then you will be able to use it to answer any therapeutic uh, response question. Guess what? They like asking you this because that's what you do as a nurse. You have to be therapeutic in your response. Patients are going to ask you questions. So stay around and stick around again and watch what I have for you. So the, the these principles, um, this is the way I break it down. I always want to make difficult uh, topics easy. And that is the way you can use it. When the topics are easy, you can use it any way you want and it work. So the principle is simple, okay? Patients are going to talk to you whether you like it or not. They're going to ask questions. And what you need to do, listen. Listen to them as much as possible. Listen um, all you want, like you have time for them. They're 100%, they got your attention. So listen, listen to them um, as long as you can. Okay, sometimes you got to pull a chair, okay, pull a chair and lean forward, you know, okay, like, so you ready to listen, okay, lean forward, ready to listen. Don't ever stand, I mean, if they ask you a question that is so, I mean, what do you call it, you need a lot of response, you're upset and everything, I think the best way is to sit, sit down at your level. Patients respond well when they have to be at your level. Um, when you're standing up, it's, it looks like you're taking the command. So they're looking vertically. But if it, they're looking at you at high level, um, it's always very therapeutic. So any upset patient, sometimes you just have to sit down and listen, lean forward, and let them talk. So that's the second point, number two. Let them become a talkative. So keep talking, patient, keep talking. Keep the patient talking. They will tell you everything. And that is the key. Number two is the key. And I call it, um, tell me more about what is going on. Let them talk. They will tell you. They have the detail. When they ask you the question, sometimes they know the answer. But they want reinforcement from you. So keep talking and let them talk. So a patient, tell me more. Well, why do you want to do this? Let me know. I need to know your details. Why are you saying that? But you don't ask the question why. So that's another clue. So first, listen. If you have to pull a chair on, lean forward, listen, sit down. And two, keep them talking. Keep them. If you can keep them talking, you're doing therapeutic work. Doing therapeutic work is keeping them talking. And that is therapy. That's the word therapy means. Let the patient talk. We go to psychotherapy. What do you think it is? You go sit down, the doctor sit there, and they give you a chair, and you talk. You talk and talk and talk. Talking make you feel good. So keep them talking, okay? And then number three, if you can't keep them talking forever, you have to address the content, the content of what they're asking you. It's very important. If they ask you about book, your answer choice has to be about book. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be about pencil. Okay, don't change the, the, the topic. I want to know about a book. And then, so when you're responding therapeutically, make sure there's book in the answer. Okay, so that's number three. And number four, um, number four is basically don't ask the why question. Okay, oh, no, 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 sorry. Don't ask um, yes or no, yes or no question. Okay, no. Absolutely not. If because that defeats the purpose of number two, I want them to keep talking and telling me more about uh, what is going on. But then, if you ask yes or no, they will say yes or no question. Do you do this? No. Do you do do that? No. Yes. No. And so you don't get the ability to let them tell you more. Let them tell you more. Address the content. Listen and never ask. Yes or no question. These four 
you can answer any question you want. Every question choice, uh, every answer choice, you analyze it. Is it am I asking a yes or no question? Uh, am I the, is the answer choice addressing the content? Is the answer choice what telling me more, or is it me listening? Am I listening or just just want to go away? These are my four don't do's. Okay, the, there's a bunch of them. I don't want to list them. Um, based on the psych management, you know, medication and all those things. Um, but this is all when you listen, look at it carefully. It's grouped if in a way that it can address everything. Um, in most therapeutic communication books, they will tell you restate the problem. Well, you're telling them more and addressing the content. They will tell you let them express themselves. Well, tell me more. Okay. Clarify information, go back to tell me more and listening. Okay. Um, you can make suggestions, but just be careful. That's why I don't want to bring all those things in. Four things you need to know for therapeutic communication is what listen, let them tell you more, address the content, and never select an answer choice that is yes or no, or don't ask yes or no question. That is my principle. Okay. And then those that you shouldn't do, of course, you shouldn't do. They, they, I will, I will just know them, but take the do's, the four do's, and use that to answer the question. But I want you to know so that when you see the answer, which answer choice fall under this group. So for this one, number one, no personal, okay, uh, question. Don't ask them about the, the their personal information. No way. Don't probe in their personal uh, life. Okay, you shouldn't do that and you should not argue with them no argue so don't don't argue with the patient okay um this is the key okay force reassurance you're reassuring them about something is going to get better which you have no 100 percent about it so never do that okay you don't do that and then you don't make a cliche Okay, make a cliche. It's something that we all know. People do that. They make a cliche about a statement. This is the way it's done. This is the way it's supposed to be. This is everybody said so. No, never do that. Okay. Um, and don't change the subject. Sometimes you can rearrange. This is different from rearranging. Change subject. You shouldn't do that. And then your personal opinion is almost the first one. Okay, personal opinion. And these are my do don'ts okay and if you look at it it's an opposite reflection of the do's you know you listen to them carefully you let them talk tell you more you address the content and you don't ask yes or no question if you reflect it back personal questions you probing you asking them something that is irrelevant to the topic they're asking you you're arguing is that it that means you're not listening to them Force reassurance, you're not addressing the content. You're making a cliche, the same thing, not addressing the content. Changing the subject, you're not addressing the content. Personal opinions, well, you don't let them talk. Let them talk. So the key word, number one, is let them talk. Keep them talking, keep them talking, address the content. Um, no yes or no answer choice, and then listen to them. And this, I know they like asking that. They ask you, they will ask you a bunch of what do you say? What is the next response? What do I say? It's always all the answer choices make sense. But guess what? You have to have a principle to do that. And I think this is the way to answer the questions about that. Make it easy. So I have a couple of questions and then we will try that. So this is um the question we have. Okay, so we're going to use it. The same thing, the way I answer the question, you always go back to the basics. Go to the last question, that's the what is being asked. Okay, which of the following is the appropriate response? Okay, I gotta respond appropriately. What is the case? A client was diagnosed with the terminal cancer. Okay, those are my buzzwords. Client asked the nurse, um, asked the nurse, Am I going to die? 
for each of the following is the appropriate response. So they asked is, what is your response? Case, terminal cancer, therapeutic question, buzzwords, the same thing, question, therapeutic uh, question. So what do you do? You know what is the key words for therapeutic? Listen, okay? Let them keep talking, no yes or no answer, question. And then um, the fourth one is what? Address the content. So we got to address the content. We got to listen, no yes or no answer. And then um, let them tell you more. So the answer choice is what? Why are you asking me that? No why question. Okay. Why are you asking me that? You back, you, you, you pass in the back. You the next. Yes, they're supposed to ask you that. You are the next, so you're supposed to know that. But you 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 asking a why, yes or no question, or why question. You shouldn't do that. And this, you're not doing your job as a nurse. That's not inappropriate. You should talk to the doctor taking care of you. The same thing. You are not addressing the content of the patient. So this is the addressing the content. This is addressing the content. You uh, passing the back to somebody else. You will not die. You have, we have great decisions here. You are in safe hands. What did I say? Don't do that, okay? Never do that. You are not addressing the content. At the same time, what are you doing? You are giving the patient false reassurance. Not. It doesn't satisfy the four things that we were supposed to do. Patient is not talking here, okay? You, you are not addressing the content. You are not listening. Then the last one, please tell me more about your diagnosis. Yes, patient is talking. When the patient is talking, it's the right answer. If you keep the patient talking, it's the right answer. So patient is talking, you want to know more, that means you're listening, so look at it. Patient is talking, right? He said, you said, tell me more about your diagnosis. I want to listen, right? And then you are addressing the content, diagnosis, right? You never ask a yes or no question yet, check. This meets all the check mark. therefore this is the right answer. I know they can be difficult, but just try to like focus, laser focus on those four things, and that will uh, lead you to clear away other answer choices. Same thing, similar questions. Let's see what we have. A client told the nurse that my mother keep talking about the past all the time. So the way to answer the question is the last portion of the question. They ask, the nurse best respond. Okay, good. What is the case? And then the client told the nurse that my mother keep talking about the past, okay, all the time since the diagnosis of Alzheimer's disease. I bought an earphone so that I don't have to hear her talk about the past. So the ask means um, best respond case. So the patient um, is been talking too much. Then the son is not happy that he's talking about the past. And so um, the buzzword is talking about the past and the Alzheimer's disease. And the, the patient, uh, the caregiver is frustrated. What will you do? Then you take your four things I tell you. Listen, address the content, no yes or no uh, question, and what? You let them talk, okay? Let them talk. And so just ignore your mother. It will stop. You're not addressing the content, okay? It happens all the time. Old folks talk about it. That is the cliche. You are not addressing the content of the problem, okay? And the patient is not talking here. It's you who is talking. If I hear you talking, you're wrong, okay? I don't want to hear you talk. That's the answer choice. Don't hear yourself talking. Let the patient talk. And when you talk, you address the content. That's the key. You don't talk, but when you talk, you address the content, When and, and then you want the patient to talk. Ask your mother why she's talking about the past. Well, you pass in the bags, okay? You are telling the client to go ask the mother. The client asks you a question, okay? So you are not addressing the content. And when you talk, you have to address the content. You have not addressed the content by talking. So don't talk then. So this is wrong. 
she cannot remember recent events due to decline in short-term memory. This is excellent. You talk, and when you talk, what do you do? Address the content, and you give the patient. Sometimes you have to be a doctor and tell the, the, the client what's your knowledge. You are allowed to do that. And this does all the things. It, it has all the features of the answer choice, That the key things I tell you. You have listened. You have addressed the content. And then I said, you, I don't, we don't want you to talk. But when, when you talk, you address the content. And there was no yes or no question. You never ask a question. You just give your fact. And you address the content. And the patient will be satisfied. So this is the right answer. Therapeutic communication. That means you're providing some healing. So, and the last one, same thing. Which of the following is the appropriate response? So that's our asked, our case. A rape victim told the nurse, I was raped because of the way I dressed. I am to be blamed. So the ask is appropriate response case. Somebody get raped. And then they blame it themselves. So they ask you, what would you do? Four things, I would say, I'll keep on repeating so that your brain can, and then that's what you do when you take a test. Four things, as soon as you, if I'm taking this test, I read this question, I will take like 10 seconds. I said, I'm looking for four things. Be paranoid, be paranoid in your content analysis to select the answer. Take 10 seconds, you said, I'm, I'm, this is what I'm looking for. I'm not going to talk. If I talk, I address the content. I let the patient talk, let the patient talk. I'm going to listen, okay? And I'm not going to ask yes or no question, four things. And I, you take it with you. That's where you do your buzzwords and your uh, uh, rewrite. And then you take this information, that's your content, and you come. It's okay to blame yourself. This is part of the healing process. You're talking, you're not addressing the, uh, the, the content. They're asking you to blame you themselves, okay? Fine, you said it's okay. It's not okay to blame yourself. It's not okay. You are not addressing the content of the question they're asking you, okay? It's not part of the healing process or, or also. That is a cliche. You, you're trying to put a cliche in the answer choice. You're talking and you're not addressing the content. No one deserves to be raped based on how they are dressed. They are they dressed. Excellent. Okay. You don't deserve, you talk, you address the content exactly what they told you. They told you what happened. And so you address it that you don't need to be raped based on the way you dressed. The first one said, okay, it's fine to be blame yourself. No, you have to address the content. Why they the, it, 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 you have to know, um, address the why, the idea of the blaming, you have to address it just because you can't accept it. This one is accepting the fact that they blame themselves. That's not what we said. You said address the content. You told them, no, they don't need to, and then they shouldn't be great because they dressed. They can trick you. You see, they all sound the same, but you have to stay back. That's why you need something to let you focus. It is time to move on, okay, so that you can heal. No, it's not time to move on. You're talking, but you're not addressing the content. Whenever the nurse opens the mouth, answer the question you are being asked. That's the therapeutic. Moving on, never heal you, okay? Address the content. They have problem. They think the way they dress make them what? Great. So you have to do that. Many people say that. I think it is true. Well, that is a cliche. Not many people. She never asks many people. She asks who? The next. You are not many people. You are one person. And so you have to trust me. This is the way they're going to frame difficult topic, a uh, uh, um, very controversial topic. I know uh, this topic they can ask you, but this is the way they will frame it. And you... You, you try to be sympathetic, but and then you get distracted. Four things, listen, let them talk, no yes or no uh, uh, question. And when you talk, you address the content 
therapeutically. And this is the key. I hope this helped you. Trust me, you're going to see a bunch of questions, maybe five or 10 questions. It can be any, it can go along anyway. Um, and they like asking that because it's very key in nursing process, in medicine. And so I hope you get something from it. Take the four things with you. Listen, talk, let them talk and address the content. No yes or no uh, question. Never ask. If, don't, never, if you're asking them question, yeah, it should not be yes or no. Okay. And take care of yourself. All the best of luck and keep charging as always.